Hello everyone, today I'm going to share with you a slightly different makeup tutorial. This is a very full coverage makeup look. And today I'm not using a traditional foundation, I'm using these Graftobian palettes. And these are high def glamour creams and I got mine from Lake Cosmetique. So if you're a makeup artist or if you're just looking for a great high definition full coverage foundation product, then definitely check these out. I used the color corrector palette because I am suffering from a little bit of hormonal acne and redness, so I did cover my acne with this palette. I used mostly warm palette number one on my face because I am of light to medium skin tone and my undertones are warm so I stuck to the warm palette. Though I did add a bit of neutral palette number one, Glamour Girl, the darkest shade available. And the reason I did that is because on the cheeks you, I wanted to add a little bit of coolness since I wanted to give a bit of cooler definition to the cheekbones. So I didn't sculpt. You can sculpt and do a full contour effect but I wanted to mostly add just a hint of color, a hint of that effect. Obviously this is not a highlighting and contouring video. Today we're focusing mostly on complete coverage. Now the, the great thing about these Graftobian High Def Glamour Creams is that they're very affordable. Each palette comes with five shades and mine's pretty messy because I just stuck my brush in them. Five shades for about $20. So that's a steal because a little bit of this formula goes a long way. I do want to note that these are professional products. These are not designer products so they're not packaged the same way. This is very utilitarian packaging. There are five individual wells but they are placed directly next to each other and on the bottom is the label that displays the name of each of the five wells. So even though you have a warm palette number one and a neutral palette number one, they each have shade names. That way when you're mixing and matching or contouring and highlighting you know exactly which color, which particular well you need for each part of the face. Now today I could have set with the banana cream pie. This is the professional grade alternative to Bobbi Brown's Shirley's powder. This does have a little bit more coverage though so if you are of a warm skin tone like I am this is a great product to invest in if the Bobbi Brown is a little bit out of your budget. I also highly recommend however the Graftobian powder powder foundation and I have this powder foundation palette so it has eight of the warm shades that Graftobian offers and this is very high coverage. In fact if you wear a tinted moisturizer or if you don't wear a liquid foundation at all these particular shades are so versatile and you can mix and match them. I actually have to mix two of the colors but that's what makes these professional products so much more versatile because they are meant for you to mix and match so that you can create the skin tones that you are looking for. As most of us know, designer cosmetics can get very expensive, so it's hard to buy two full-size foundations and mix and match to get your perfect shade. With these Graftobian palettes though, it makes it easier when you get lighter in the winter or darker in the summer to utilize the same palette throughout the year without having to stress about buying a brand new bottle of foundation when you haven't used up the one you currently have. Now before we get started with the tutorial, I just want to make it clear, while I'm applying the makeup, it looks a little crazy just because the coverage of this product is a little different and the application is different as well. I used a MAC 130 brush and this is a very short duo fiber. It is dirty from the application of the tutorial, but I highly recommend this brush for the Graftobian palettes. I feel that these really do work the best. You can use your fingers, but a beauty blender and the 130 are your best friends. One really important tip that you have to keep in mind is when you're using the 130 with the Graftobian High Def Creams is that you must stipple. Just pat the product onto the skin and then blend it all out with a beauty blender. This is the Beauty Blender Pro, the black one. And last but not least, I wanted to mention that the color for this look was inspired by this photo sent to me by a subscriber on Facebook. This is Kendall Jenner, I believe, and she wanted to wear this look to prom, so I recreated this look for her. But of course, I added my signature heavy eyeliner. You can skip the eyeliner, but this is a really universal, easy look to wear, and if you're going to be a bridesmaid, if you're even going to be a bride, this is a look, and these are products that you should definitely look into if you're being photographed or if you just want a really great way to wear full coverage makeup that's not going to break the bank then again, check out the Graftobian palettes because they will be your new best friend. So thank you to all who requested this kind of high definition, full coverage makeup tutorial, and I really do hope it helps. 
So to begin, I already applied a little bit of liquid foundation, just about half a pump, and now I'm blending in the concealer just to reduce the look of some blemishes. So I've let the concealer sit for a couple minutes just to warm it up on the skin, and now I'm just going to go through and blend it all in. Now that I've gently blended in some of the concealer, I'm going to use my Graftobian High Def Glamour Cream Corrector Palette, and I'm going to use the soft orange color. I'm just going to take my finger and pat that right where my dark circles are the bluest. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the green, and since green counteracts blemishes, I'm going to place that along the most active of my blemishes. Now I'm taking my MAC 130 brush, and I'm using the Graftobian palette, and the color I'm using is called Vixen. And I'm just placing that on top of the corrector, the orange salmon color that we used. I'm just patting that on my forehead, finally on the chin. Now I'm just wiping the brush down on a makeup wipe. And then I'm going to take the neutral palette number one, the darkest color in this five palette, called Glamour Girl. And I'm going to stipple this onto the contours of my face and apply Enchantress from the warm number one palette on top for added definition. I'm also going to pat Enchantress down the sides of my nose. And last but not least, I'm going to place it along the forehead, down the temples. And now we're going to take a beauty blender and blend everything out. Now clearly this is a whole lot of foundation and a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. Now to set the creams, I used a mixture of this color, Cafe Au Lait with golden tan, and when used to set, it gave me a really matte look. Now, if you wanted less coverage, again, you could use the Graftobian Banana Cream Pie Powder. And obviously, this is a very heavy matte look, so I'm just going to mix it up a little bit and add, you know, and bring some luster back into the skin with highlighting products. First things first, I'm going to sculpt a little bit with my Bobbi Brown Bronzer in Natural, and this is just to bring a little bit of warmth back into my skin. Now I'm going to take the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Bronze, and I'm going to pop this on my cheeks, smile and apply to the apples of the cheeks. Now I'm going to complete the look with eyebrows and a little bit of eye makeup. So now on my eyebrows is Clay Depot's Eyebrow Pencil, and I put down a layer of Chilled On Ice Paint Pot by MAC. Now I'm going to take the NARS and God Created the Woman palette and take the matte in the middle. Top row. I'm going to place that right in the crease to give a little bit more definition. Now I'm going to take a big fluffy MAC 227 and grab the champagne pink. I'm going to pat this all over the eye. And you really want to concentrate the color on the lid because it's, it's going to pop against the black eyeliner. Now for a bit of extra warmth in the corner, I'm going to take this slightly more coppery version and I'm going to place this on the outer lid. Now I'm going to dip back into the matte middle color, and then I'm going to trace the outer half of the eye with it, just the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take my Limitier de Beauté pen eyeliner. My preference is heavy winged cat eyeliner, but you can wear a natural look, so I'm going to show you natural first. Now I'm going to build it up and add some more drama to the back of the eye. And there you have it, the bigger, bolder, sexier eyeliner alternative. So now that I'm back, all I did was apply two coats of mascara, one coat on my lower lashes and two coats on my upper lashes, and I'm going to finish off with a really natural lip look. This is the Edward Best Secret Desire Lipstick. And for added shine and shimmer, I'm going to use the Limitier Vanilla Rose Creme de Gloss. And that's a wrap for the tutorial. Now, you can always go ahead and add false lashes, but I wanted to skip them today just because I did go heavy on the eyeliner. Obviously, if you're being photographed, currently I'm not. So I just wanted to show you how the skin can be achieved and how to add color into it without overdoing it. So this look photographs really well. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful. And definitely check out Graftobian palettes for those special occasion events. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you all very soon in my June favorites video. Bye.